Am I the asshole for kicking my husband out the delivery room? I was in labor for 26 hours and was in a lot of pain as I didn't take an epidural. My husband was constantly on the phone either playing games or talking with with his bros, being really loud. When I asked him to please hang up he'd hang up the phone and then like 10 minutes later call them back. He really wanted to talk to them because his friends went on a boys trip without him because I asked to stay back so he could be here when I went into labor. They were calling to tell him about how their trip was going. He apologized to them blaming it on me being a nag. I was really annoyed and told him if he wanted to talk to his friend he could do that elsewhere so I can be in pain in peace. He was like all right fine baby I'll just call them back later so I had about 20 minutes of peace until his mom facetimed him where he proceeded to put me in the video call. His mom makes a comment about how she remembers when she was in labor with him and that she still did herself up. She even claimed she looked so good the doctor even was flirting with her. I was holding back everything inside me to not say something as I didn't want to disrespect my mother-in-law but at the same time she sometimes just makes the stupidest comments at the worst times and at this moment I could not stand talking to her. A nurse ends up coming in and could tell I was upset and asks me if everything was alright and I tell her I just really want to be alone. She ends up kicking out my husband and in turn he ends up missing the birth of our firstborn daughter because he left the hospital because he was pissed off that I got the nurse to kick him out the room. He refused to come see his daughter afterwards because he was angry at me for kicking him out. My mother-in-law who did visit me in the hospital wouldn't stop taking about how I'm such a bad wife for removing my husband from the room. When I got home he kept on bringing up how I ruined a moment of bonding with his daughter and how he could never forgive me for that. Am I the asshole for kicking my husband out the delivery room because he was making phone calls? Not the asshole. That's a whole lot of red flags from your husband. 1. Had to be told not to leave on a boy's holiday when his wife would likely be giving birth to his child. 2. Ignored his laboring wife to chat with his friends on said trip. 3. Called them back after being told to hang up. 4. Answered a video chat from someone you didn't want in the room. 5. Allowed that person to be disrespectful towards you. 6. Went off in a sulk instead of visiting you and his child as soon as he was allowed back in. If he has a problem with the situation you could ask him what he was feeling the last time he had a new person escaping from his vagina so you can compare notes and come up with a compromise. Not the asshole and it truly upsets me to read these stories on Reddit. I always wonder if you are really going to spend the rest of your life with such an asshole. Am I the asshole for asking my husband to stay with his family while he's unemployed? My husband, 32, and I, 30, have been married for just over a year now and things couldn't be rockier. I have a good job and make a decent amount of money, whereas my husband made not as much as me. Due to this, and the fact he was still living with his parents when we got married, we decided he would move in with me and I would continue to pay the rent and bills as long as he put money toward other things we may need as a couple. My name is the only one on the lease. However, once we got married, he started to cut down on his work hours without saying anything first. He gave the explanation that I made plenty of money for the both of us so he could just work part-time and do the work around the house while I was the main breadwinner. I was fine with this, a little upset that he had just assumed this would be okay but I didn't say anything as this felt fair. He did do some work around the house initially, but spent the majority of his time going out to the bar playing video games, etc. to the point where I was the one both working and doing the cooking, cleaning and other household chores. My husband told me he was laid off two months ago for reasons out of his control. I assumed in this time that he would begin job hunting, and I began to pay for everything. While I do earn a decent amount of money, it's not to the point where I can pay for rent, bills, groceries, insurance, contribute to emergency savings and finance the lifestyle my husband had started indulging in. I began paying for his nights out, subbing him money for trips to look for work, etc. all while I was under the assumption he would be searching for a new job. At least to finance his hobbies. About a week ago, I asked him how the job hunt was going and he told me that he didn't feel like it was worth it. He said to me that he was comfortable with what we had now and I wasn't happy to say the least. I confronted him about how I was doing everything to finance and take care of our household while he sat around and played video games. I was being an ass here, I'll admit, and during this argument he let slip that he had actually quit and never looked for another job. I was furious that he had lied to me and told him I didn't want him in my home right now. Fast forward to now. My in-laws are understanding to an extent but are calling me an asshole for not wanting him to come back home until he gets a job. 
I have seen my husband in this time but never in our home, always out somewhere. I no longer pay for everything and his attitude toward me is making me question our entire relationship. He's calling me an asshole for doing this to him, and I'm beginning to think he's right. Am I an asshole? Not the asshole. Good grief the amount of marinara here is ridiculous. 1. He cut down his hours with O discussing it too. He quit his job and lied about it 3. He spends his time partying with his buddies and having you foot the bill 4. He lied about job searching 5. He won't help keep up the household. Sounds like only seeing him in passing is best. Don't let him back into the house unless you just want a mooch, lazy, roommate that won't pay rent. Not the asshole. Your husband is totally taking advantage of you. He didn't give you any choice in any of this he just made decisions and forced you to go along with them. Divorce him. He's literally dead weight and you're better off without him. Not the asshole. Don't cave. Making me question our entire relationship. At a girl. Keep questioning. He's calling me an asshole for doing this to him. Okay but what does he call what he's doing to you? NTA. Am I the asshole for paying first class airfare for my nanny and not my son? Me, F, and my husband, M, had our first child, Matt, 18 M, when we were just 17 years old. We weren't in a very good financial situation at first and it only got better when Matt was 9. Currently, we both work well-paying jobs, buy a spacious home, and have our luxuries. We had two more children, 8M and 5F. As we cannot stay at home all the time, we hired a nanny, May, 45F, to take care of the little ones. Matt had a complicated personality change at age 11. We put him in private school and maybe the contact with other teenagers brought out a selfish and elitist side of him. We tried our best to try to improve it but with the onset of adolescence and stubbornness, it just seemed to get worse. It got better when my husband and I decided that at age 16, he would work part-time so he could start taking financial responsibility and that seemed to give him a reality check as we cut our support on his perks. This year, after the worst period of the pandemic, my husband and I decided to go on an international trip and instead of giving May a vacation at home, we decided that we would take her, not going to work, and pay for everything. I don't live in the U.S. Matt, on a random day, overheard me talking to my husband that I was planning to pay for a first-class seat for May and her son for her to enjoy like we did. He asked why we should do this, we were already paying for everything, let her go economy class if she can't afford first class. I was shocked, I said that it was mean to say this and that she was an important person for our family, who gives up having time for her own child to take care of mine. It's the least I can do. He still stood his ground, so I said if he sees it that way, I said I'd buy him an economy seat and he'd have to turn around to pay for an upgrade for him to see how privileged he is to have parents who can pay. He nodded, thinking it was a joke even though I said it wasn't. As the months went by and I warned him that his ticket was economic and he didn't believe it. On the day of the trip, like a shocked Pikachu, he was startled when he realized I told the truth. He threw a tantrum in the middle of the airport, saying that 10 hours of travel would be very uncomfortable. I just replied, you had six months to gather, you've been warned. The flight was okay, but Matt was outraged the entire trip, saying it was almost torture and that we had gone too far. My husband agrees with me, but my parents said I went too far doing this. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. He fucked around and found out. Doesn't sound like those elitist attitudes really left just simmered for a while. My parents said I went too far doing this. Yes you absolutely tortured him by making him sit with the peasants. How awful. Not the asshole and I'm sorry you have such an entitled son. Ask him why, almost torture, would be fine for the nanny but not for him. Not the asshole. Matt can't tell you what to do with your money and is plain mean and classist to negotiate a downgrade in airfare for anyone. However, you have already tried taking privileges away by making him work and not supporting him, edit, his perks. I don't think monetary punishment is going to work anymore, you need a new solution. I would try a family therapist to see what is at the bottom of his relationship with money and what you can do to change it. Am I the asshole for cancelling my wedding even though it's tomorrow? This morning I woke up to a bunch of texts from my sister who lives 14 hours away. She's been pregnant for a little less than five months. She was supposed to be the maid of honor at my wedding, but she delivered the news that the doctor told her she had a miscarriage. I can only imagine the grief my sister is going through. 
She can't attend my wedding and even though everything is already booked and we had some guests flying in for the wedding, I just can't have it without her. I thought my fiancé would understand, but instead, he got extremely upset. We've been planning this date for a while now because it's his mother's birthday and very special to him. But, it would make my sister devastated if I had it without her since I know she was looking forward to it. She said she just wasn't ready to celebrate anything at the moment, and as her sister, she feels like it's my responsibility to comfort her. It's early in the morning where I live and we're prepared for the wedding tomorrow but I can't stomach having my special day without my sister. I told my fiancé and after I finish writing this I'm going to start packing. I need to be with my sister right now. I know everything has already been planned out and I'm ruining a lot by doing this, but I have to put family first. My fiancé is definitely mad and called me in a hole because of it. So I was wondering, am I the asshole for cancelling my wedding last minute to be with my grieving sister? And hash x 200 b. Edit. After one tough talk with my fiancé, we're not cancelling the wedding. We're going to have it despite the loss of my niece and record it to send to my sister when the time comes. We made up for the most part and decided we aren't going to have a maid of honor at our wedding. Thank you guys. Would have made a stupid decision without 99 people calling me an asshole. You have to do what's right for you, and if the most important thing is your sister then absolutely pack your bag and go to her. I sympathize with her loss. And afterwards, don't come back. Your fiancé deserves a partner whose priority is him. Sororital miscarriages do not outweigh weddings for most of us, so I side with the groom. This is the kind of thing you make note of in a marital toast while carrying on then sending a wedding video to the person who couldn't attend. You are the asshole. You are the asshole. You think your sister was looking forward to your wedding more than your fiancé? Remember to return the engagement ring. Info. Do you plan on rescheduling the wedding around your sister? How is your sister intending to be at your wedding when she's not with you yet? Edited to add. I just realized she's your maid of honor and is 14 hours away the day before your wedding. Not sure I'm buying this.